Hello. The topic today I'm going to present on is mix and match offers in LS retail, which is part of periodic discounts. So what is a mix and match offer? So if you want to combine different items, which might belong to a specific product group or different product groups, item categories or special group and have a different kind of uh, discount or maybe a deal price on that, that is something you can achieve by setting up it as a mix and match offer. So example would be like if you want to give a 15% off on the items that would be in a specific product group or, a, or an item category, or maybe if you have to have an offer uh, on uh, some t-shirts, if you uh, buy three t-shirts, you get one free. Or maybe another example would be if you uh, buy a coffee mug with a coffee as a different uh, product, then you get 10% off. Or maybe another example would be a child meal, like in McDonald's, you have a child meal which has different options. All, all these examples are of mix and match offer. Today, as part uh, of this presentation, the example I'm going to consider is a Happy Meal. So what I'm saying is that it's the deal price for this is $20 and it has got few options. Like the, for the starter, there are three, three items here. You have three, three kind of salads and uh, or the customer has to select any one of these from the meals meal section he can select any two of these burgers if i go to the desert uh, he can select any one or two items and the last one that's uh, the beer which is most interesting i would say again only one for the to include in the offer this is what the offer we need to configure in mix and match uh, in ls retail so first I'd show you how this configuration can be done. And secondly, from the post station, how we can trigger the offer. Uh, first I'll show you how to define this offer. So I've already created this offer and it is already active. So I've defined all as a price group. So this price group, you know, drives what standard price to be considered and what stores this offer would apply to. So maybe you have got five uh, cafeterias uh, and you want to apply this only to one cafeteria. So that is something you can dri drive it from here. Then you have got the priority, lower the priority, higher the preference. And you've got the validation period. This could be maybe uh, if you want it for a specific season, like maybe it's for Christmas or, uh, or maybe a special holiday offer, you can just define the period over here. In the line section, how to define this? So just moving back to the screen here and I'll just keep the uh, offer here for a better representation. So how this is defined in LS Retail is all these are products. So these products would be added as line items over here. But the important point to note here is that, you know, these each of these like a starter it is be identified as group a the meals identified as group b and group c so on and so forth so we have to create a group uh, for each each of these components and uh, define how many uh, like if you if you how many products from each group are required for uh, the offer to be triggered so group a would require one Group B would require two, group C would require one to two, and D would require one. So this is what we need to define here. So if I go with the first one, this is the salad dressing so we have here section. So all these three items are defined here. And then if I scroll to the right, you can see here I've defined the line group. And if I just look up to the groups here, so here we define uh, how many minimum items are required for a group. So from group A, since it's any one, I say only one is required. From the group B, two items are required. Now C is interesting as it says that even if there's one item, still the offer should be triggered. So there's an option to define a range here. So I've put from one to two items uh, as a range here to consider for this group. And the third one is for the drinks, which is says only one as the value. So likewise, like all the items which are listed here have been added 
and each item like the burgers represent the group b the desserts as group c and then you have the drinks as d and for each group we have defined the minimum requirements for that all right so uh, once you do this then you need to actually define what are the benefits so here i'm saying that i want to sell all these as a package uh, at a deal price of 20 so i am selecting this discounting type as 20 here there are other options like percentage and lease expensive discount amount which you may use based on the requirement all right so once you have defined this you have your offer is active your priority is defined then you can also test that offer from here that's one way to see that this is being triggered or not okay in this demo then i will show you how you can use this offer in the point of sale so in the point of sale what i have done is i have created a menu here when i click on happy meal this is a menu i have created now these this menu uh, has like each button is mapped to that specific item on the offer so like you can consider this as a group a where you say that any one of select anyone this as group b which says select any two this is group uh, c with one or two and group d so this is all what we have seen in the mix and match offer and also like we discussed in uh, uh, the proposed offer here the reason uh, just for a quick uh, uh, review of the button uh, how this is defined is i'm using a command plu underscore k and then i'm defining the item number for that particular button so each button has its own item number and then whenever i'm just going to click on this it's going to populate or uh, the item in this journal now this the system has needs all the items to be entered here in order to trigger the offer however this would be slightly different when you are using a deal because in deal you have the capability to define uh, it as a command and you can also specify what specific deal to trigger all right so say for example we will now see how this works so i'm going to so so if there's a customer and says okay i want this happy meal uh, so you'd go that select any one from the first section say the salad dressing here it says two but uh, we just see how different it is when we select one so uh, maybe i go for a chicken burger and from the desert i'm going maybe for a chocolate ice cream and from the drink section i'm going maybe for a dark beer um yeah i mean this is coming to 17 dollars so uh, i need to select one more from this section since we have only one so maybe i go for a fish burger and then we see the offer is triggered so as you can see the offer happy meal is triggered here and you have a total of 20 to 60 uh, and a discount of two dollars and 60 cents with that going the total balance is 20 that's what the deal price is and that's what we wanted since we have defined this desert section we are saying that we need one or two items so what we can check is uh, to see if we are selecting one more from this section it it shouldn't actually change the price over here because we are saying any one or two items so if i click on chocolate cake you see it's changed to 2435 but my balance remains the same but if i if there is one more from this section which i am going to add it should actually add to my price so so for example if i go for uh, one hot chocolate you see it's the it's added uh, uh, 125 to this order so this is something in addition to the deal the customer is purchasing so this is just uh, and overview of how you know you can use mix and matches offer uh, which is quite interesting uh, you can use it in uh, for apparels or maybe uh, for shoes or maybe whatever product line you have but uh, there are different ways or different offers other than this like a total discount offer discount offers multi buy discount offer uh, that's it for today and uh, if you have any questions or any uh, queries or uh, you want us to walk through Please let us know. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, 
make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.